Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, Nate back with another pod review. Uh, now, this one uh, was sent to me by a grower by the name of Rob Vetter. Uh, and through a little bit of detective work, uh, myself uh, and uh, Jim Johnson, with an assist from Christopher Phillips, um, identified this chili as a giant Thai chili. Uh, now, Jim also does uh, great pod reviews on YouTube. You can find his channel. Uh, he's, I believe, Pleco Dude on uh, YouTube. Does a great job. Uh, the man has an insane tolerance. Uh, but I'm very excited to try this. Uh, these are a capsicum annuum. Uh, and as you can see, they're a much larger uh, Thai variety. Uh, and the, they're quite prolific. If you grow these, you're going to get a lot of fruit. Um, so let's uh, let's just cut this open. Um, there's not going to be too much to see in this. I mean, it's an annual, but uh, I always like to cut open a pod before I eat it, uh, just in case there are too many seeds in there. Now again, the seeds aren't what makes it hot, um, but they can affect the flavor, uh, creating a lot of bitterness. So I like to try and get rid of those, uh, get rid of as many of those as I can before I do a pod test, just so they don't interfere with the flavor. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Let me show you guys what this looks like. It's got a pretty big placenta for an annuum. Uh, and it actually smells pretty hot. Uh, but it's definitely got that, uh, that earthier uh, capsicum annuum smell to it. Like an almost green scent. It definitely smells like a Thai pepper. As you can see, it's it's a little thicker walled uh, than your typical Thai. There's a good amount of flesh on this, uh, and of course, much bigger. So, if you were making a traditional, you know, like Thai chili sauce, you needed something with a little bit more body. Uh, getting some of these would be a good idea. Alright, I'm going to try this. Thank you again, Rob, for sending this to me. Here we go. Hmm. Live seeds. And it is very sweet and juicy. It's got a amount of flesh too, so it's got a good crunch to it. Now for an annual, it's definitely got quite a bit of heat. It's kind of a prickly tongue burn. Burn all through the cheeks. A 
little bit towards the front of the throat. Not too much, though. But, you know, it's not unpleasant. It's tolerable. It's definitely, uh, I'd say, on the upper end of um, Serrano level heat, kind of hitting around Cayenne, around there. But she's got some kick to her. Really good flavor, too. Very sweet. Um, it's got some of that. Trying to find a better way to describe it, but I can only really describe it as a um, capsicum annuum earthiness, like an almost greenness to the flavor, um, and just a just a touch floral. But extremely juicy. That's good pepper. I don't know. Flavor? Um, I really like that a lot. And I, I think that would go. It's a perfect base for a sweet Thai style chili sauce. Um, and you get, of course, a lot more pod there uh, than you get in the normal Thai chili. So, very good choice to add to one of those. Uh, flavor gets an 8 out of 10. Now, heat, it's, um, it's really not that bad. It's just a, uh, it's a warm feeling. Uh, the prickliness on the tongue is pretty much gone now. It's just kind of hanging around um, more towards uh, back of the throat a little bit. No real roof of mouth burn. And all over warmth in the mouth. Um, heat gets about a, uh, it's about two out of ten for me. It's definitely uh, hotter than um, a jalapeno level. Um, sits at around Serrano, perhaps peaking at close to cayenne level. Um, good, enjoyable pepper. Um, got just the right amount of heat to uh, add to pretty much any dish. Won't scare you. Great all around. Um, Thank you, Rob. Thank you very much for sending this to me. Uh, that is a cool pepper. i uh, never gotten to try one of those before, so that's really cool. Uh, I will be using that a lot. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please click the like button. Uh, feel free to subscribe, leave your comments, and share with friends. Thank you guys very much, and I will see you in the next video. Later.